cool. Yep. Hello and a very warm welcome. Slight pause there. <laughs> Just checking who's right. Hello and welcome to my live. My name is Julie Sean. I'm coming to you live from the UK. It's just after six o'clock on Tuesday, the 23rd of May, 2023. Um, and yes, we've got the title. Wow, what an amazing day we have with reference to energies. Um, as you know, I like numbers, we like energies and all sorts of things. Um, Leo is in Taurus and oh no, I can't remember what it's in now. Leo is in Mercury now. Oh, my brain isn't working this morning. Hey, maybe I'll start this fresh again new. No, we'll keep going. So today is the 23rd day of May, uh, 2023. Uh, in the UK, we write 23-5-23. In the America, you write the day to the month, which is 5-23-23. Two add three is five. Yeah, it's a bit of a maths class today. So this is why it's classed as a five, five, five day. It's the fifth month. It's the 23rd day of the fifth month, tw year 23. So two add three. So that's why it's five, five, five. Now we've all talked about the, uh, and it happens to be the fifth 23rd day of the year. Yeah, so it's in fact, it's a five, 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 five. It's a four, five. <laughs> let's get that working yes we've had the 23rd of january 23rd of february 23rd of march 23rd of april and it is the 23rd of may so we have got this is the fifth 23rd opportunity of change now i've talked about five being the the, the meaning behind five is is a change it's also the change of positivity that's what it's all about this it's changing from here to here hello rosemary and that's why it's a five 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 but like i said it's the fifth month it's the fifth 23rd we've had of the year 2023 so it's a massive day it's the energies are all for changing and it's all for changing from here to here because you're coming from a place where you haven't got to a place where you want whatever it is you know i want a business boom i want my deck of cards boom i want my money boom i want a partner in love boom you know and this is all you want you want to go from here to here now yeah you can go from here to here or i like to go from here to here because i want more abundance i want to go higher i want to go further i'm limitless we were talking about limitless yesterday um so it's like yes that's what we all want to do we want to change but if you want something if you're carrying on doing the same thing yes you may get there very rarely if you carry on doing the same thing because if you wanted something and you're doing the same thing you would have got it by now so what we have to think about is if i'm still carrying on doing exactly the same because i want more money i want more money i've got no money i've got no money you're still saying the same thing and you're still living exactly the same you'll still continue to have no money if you've got no lover and you're still going to do the same thing going say but whatever you're going to get where you are you if you want something different you're going to have to do something different because if you keep doing the same thing you ain't going to get anything different. And I spoke about this so yesterday about changing, changing something just really, really tiny. Um, hello, Rosemary. If you're joining me live, pop on and say hello so I know who's here. Um, comment, go hello. So even if you do just a tiny change and over time, it's the compound effect because i was saying yesterday about this person and i said oh you know and i was using a small amount of money and i said you know if you just save 25 i decide that for the rest of the year you're going to put um say 20 pounds a month hello i'm um, very well if you decide that for the next month six months we've got another six or seven we've got seven months left of the year for the next seven months i'm going to put 20 pounds into my savings account so the first month which would be this month it'd be 20 pounds yeah well next month when it comes to june you'll have this month's 20 pounds and next month so you've then got 40 pounds in your bank account then the next month even though you're just putting 20 pounds in you've now got 60 pounds then another month comes along you've then got 80 pounds then you put another month you've got 100 pounds 
and suddenly you've got a hundred and it's but it's the small amounts that gets you to that hundred pounds or it's a hundred dollars i mean you can put however much you want a penny 10 pence whatever you do but it's the little bit of change you never you know i'm you know i go what can you do what could you do what could you do differently could you just put a pound this on at the end of the year you'll have got 12 pounds but if it's in the savings count you're going to get interest on it it's a stream of income but i've spoken to you about this before but it's the little income so if you just put a pound today the next month you put another pound so you're still only but but today you've not done anything up until yesterday you hadn't put any money aside still saying i've got no money the change is today i'm going to decide to put a pound and every month i'm going to put a pound into my piggy bank a pound into wherever you want to do so you've done something different that you've never done before a small change it's only a pound if you're watching from america it's a dollar if you're in the europe it's a euro okay let's not technical let's not say be pedantic and cross the d's and dot the i's you know it's like i'll eat an apple oh i don't like apples i'm like oh, shit. find a bit of fruit that you like let's not go pedantic about it you know like i say i'm saying a pound you could put a hundred pounds you could put a thousand pounds you could put 20p it doesn't matter all right, I'm just using examples. And whenever I speak to anyone, I am always a, oh, and I hope you put that into your savings account. Exactly. One pound, and it's better than nothing just by doing surveys. Oh my God. And you're sitting at home twiddling and instead of scrolling, you did some surveys. Look at that. Do that 10 times. It's 10 pounds 26. Do that 100 times. It's, a, you know, 100 pounds. And it mounts and then you add one pound 26 you add it into your savings account and then you got a bit more interest a bit more instead of earning 20p interest you earn 21 pounds uh 100th m m m month i put away in my notion love it love it exactly and it's like just how i think how much you started so doing 10 pounds every month for a thousand months you've got ten thousand pounds i mean what a thought of that and people go, I'd love to have £10,000. Rosemary's done that. She's put £10, and as long as you don't touch it, is I love that. But it's just this little small uh, 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 change. That's all I'm doing. And this is what the number five is all about. It's doing a change, but it's a change that's going to create a positivity. A change of difference, but the difference is going to be affecting. And even though it's a small change, it's going to have such a compound effect along your path so you do this you do this do, and if you just go off course by a millimeter you know you're going along here but instead of going straight you just go for a millimeter what happens what happens okay what happens it's just a slight slight change okay slight slight change hey and that's sometimes all you need a small change we don't need to do a massive one but yes sometimes we need to do a massive change that massive change is you know my partner he's cheating oh it's the third time right that's he's gone i'm not going to forgive him anymore you gone partner you've gone or the job they're treating me like abysmal they're treating me like you know not paying me you know what i'm going to go and get a job quit the job and go well find a job first and go and find and work with a company that gives me you know respect and pays me more leave the job i've done and go and do something else why not indeed sometimes it's a big change sometimes it's a small change what it is though we were talking yesterday about limit or limitless and not having a setting a limit on anything you know when you go oh i want to wear leaves a stone well why not say i just want to lose a, a weight so i'm healthy rather than saying i want to win a million pounds on the lottery why not just say i want to win an abundance on the why cap it why limit yourself to a million pounds on the lottery why not go you know so stop limiting yourself and stop limiting you with the change but it doesn't matter with you if one person wants to do one tiny little change someone else wants to do a massive change it's okay okay and if you don't want to change that's okay as well you may be up here <coughs> but don't get complacent with life <coughs> excuse me <coughs> a second so if you're watching this hello Jeanette hello hello so we've got the amazing Colin we've got um, Rosemary we've got Jeanette 
so lovely thanks for and if you're watching this back live uh back it on oh, no not live watching it back don't forget hashtag replay if you want to watch it back later hashtag replay so this is what today's energy is about it's a five 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 but actually it's a it's a four five because we are uh yeah because it's it's the fifth time we've had the 23rd of a month We've had the 23rd of January, 23rd of February, 23rd of what, etc. So that's the fifth time. We're in the fifth month. Hello! Followed my card last night. It worked out well. Oh, I love it. Love it. So it's the fifth month. It's the uh, 23rd. Two out of three is five in the year 23. So five, five, five. But it's the fifth time we've had a 23rd. So that's why it's there. So it's the change. And my title today is, I don't know, I'll have to put it up there, uh, let me move on it, is <laughs> Activating the 555 Gateway Portal, Manifesting with Affirmations and Wisdom of the Cards. And this is it, the affirmation. What is an affirmation? Right, well, I'll try and explain to you what an affirmation is. Right, an affirmation is a sentence but it's a positive sentence but you just say it over and over and over but the affirmation is reprogramming your subconscious mind and over time you become the thing that you're affirming always say the affirmation of your desires in the present tense like i am amazing i am worthy i have this because we only have the here and now the past is gone and we're only laying down the foundation for the future. So everything you have now, I have this, I have this car, I have this phone, I have the home. Now, it may be not exactly what you want. My phone, you know, you've got a phone. It may not be the perfect phone. You've got a TV, but it may not be the perfect. But you have it and I have an amazing car. If you speak beautiful things about people you love, why do you not say beautiful things about yourself? Because when you believe or think or people say something to you over and over, over and over again you know which maths class are you in i'm in the bottom maths class oh is that where all stupid maths people are in you then believe that you then because it's telling you it's reaffirming we're reaffirming you're no good at maths because you're in the bottom maths class at work oh yeah i can't do maths you know and you're reaffirming and people say yeah you're in the bottom class the teacher is oh he teaches the bottom class you know it's a bunch of the and then they start believing that because they're telling you it all right they're saying you are in the bottom class. You're not going to so you go, you believe that because they keep telling you. But what about saying a positive word is that, you know, I can count. Maths, I can do maths. Retell yourself these stories. Affirmations influence your thoughts, your feelings, and it inspires you to change your life for the better. Why does it inspire you to change your life for the better? Because when you are hearing these words that's telling you you know oh you're no good or sometimes you say oh people are always telling me i know good really are they actually physically today tell me a thought that's a negative thought you've got about yourself and tell me where has that come now this is sort of digging deep and it's saying to you you know someone says oh yeah i don't do this because um people will people will think i'm mad or you know i won't wear my hippie clothes walking down the high street and i go why won't you wear your hippie oh people will think i'm you know you know who i am who do i think I'm? how do you know that that person is going to think that thought about you have they said to you physically hey julie sean who the fuck do you or who the hell do you think you are walking down looking like a hippie no one's actually said that to me. Who the hell do you think you are walking down the Northampton High Street dressed as a hippie? Right? No one has actually physically said that to me. No one! Who do you think you are dressed as a hippie? How dare you walk down the high street? Like, no one has actually physically said that. Where have I got this thought? It's a belief system that I've picked up from here, here, here and Borea. No, I haven't got that belief system at all. Okay, I'm quite happy to walk down the high street We're looking like a hippie. I've got no problem with that. But you know what I mean. But where has this person said that to you? Because I was talking to someone, they go, oh yeah, they all think I'm stupid. And I go, has that person actually, I said, who are they? Who are they that have actually said to you, you're stupid? Has someone physically said to you, to your face, you're really stupid and you're not worth it? Who's actually said that to you? If someone has, that's their belief system, but don't take it on as them. 
what pr what proof so what i'm going to say to you i'm going to challenge you what are these stories that you have thought yourself what are these stories that other people have said to you that is holding you back now wouldn't it be better rather than saying listening to this voice or the oh you're stupid so they're telling you that so they're affirming it and then you're now thinking yeah well they're telling me i'm stupid so i'm going to act a life as being stupid but you're not. None of you are stupid. Not a single person here is stupid. If you were stupid, well, you know, I do stupid things occasionally, fall flat on my face because I don't look where I'm going and walk into lampposts, but that's just a blip. Okay. But I'm not stupid because I know how to work a phone. I know how to work a remote control. I know how to make a cup of tea. I know how to drive a car. I know how to walk onto a plane and put my seatbelt on. I know how to put my makeup on. I know how to put a spoon in my mouth and feed myself. Quite clearly, I'm not stupid. So my affirmation is I'm this amazing goddess and I can do anything I want to do. But it's when you start having these, listening to these affirmations from other people. Oh, you can't be a ballet dancer. Oh, you can't be a ballet dancer. You can't be an artist. Well, why not? Just because I, I don't want to be a professional ballet dancer. Yeah, it'd be nice to be a ballet dancer. But there's lots of ballet classes I can go to local for people of my age. We have a beautiful Jo Marchant who's not with us at the moment. Jo Marchant, she goes to ballet. She's not 16 years old, bless her cotton socks. I'm not being spiteful or anything, but she goes to ballet. And she's slightly over 21, but she goes, so she's a ballet dancer. It doesn't matter what's, whether you're grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four. I mean, I, I can play the piano. Yeah, you wouldn't find me playing in an orchestra. Uh, looking forward to tonight, yeah. You wouldn't find me in an orchestra because, yeah, I do. I haven't played the piano for eight yonks years and I haven't been practiced. But I got up to grade three, grade four. I think it was grade three, possibly grade four. Yeah, so, yeah, I can play the piano, but it wasn't my favourite intro. But it doesn't mean, you know, I play the drums and things like that. Dancing is incredible too. Absolutely good and stuff. So, but just because when someone says, oh, you can't be a ballet dancer, you can be a ballet, but someone thinks, oh, you can't be a ballet dancer, you'd be never good enough to play dance for the National uh, Ballet Dance or the big ballet company, Birmingham Ballet Company, you know. Well, that may not be my ambition, but I can still go to the local ballet class, which they put on for those ladies of a certain age, ballet classes. I can still be a ballet dancer. So don't listen to that person who says, you can never be, you can never be an artist. I draw. Yeah, to some people's vision, my drawing might be worse than my three-year-old grandson. He dark draws and he shows me this picture and he says this is Nana and you got your glasses on. It's fun scribbles, but you go, wow, that's brilliant. That's good. Draw me something else. Okay, so he's an artist, but he's three years old. But in someone's eyes, it's that's a scribble. But in his eyes, it's magnificent. Of course, I'm going to encourage him. I'm biased because I'm his Nana. But stop listening, because when you listen to this person, they're going, you can't be a ballet dancer, you can't be a ballet dancer. They're giving you an affirmation and you're taking it in and then you're believing it. And this is what an affirmation is. It's a sentence that you think. But rather than having negative sentences that are stopping you here, negative sentences that are keeping you down, negative sentences that are limiting you, let's change and go, I am free to dance how I want. I am free to sing out loud if I wish. I'm able, I'm free to dance. I'm free to draw. I'm free to be an artist. I'm free to do this. And I can do it because I'm worthy of being a dancer. I'm worthy of being an artist. I'm worthy of being a singer. I'm worthy of whatever it is you want. Start turning yourself into a positive song, song and dance. So positive affirmation and then you start believing that because if you believed all this negative bullshit that people have told you maybe it's time to start telling you positive things and this is the change stop listening to negative words the change is listen to positive stop listening to you can't do that because that is them putting their limited beliefs that they have themselves onto you 
Stop it. Stop it now. Immediately. That's the change. Don't allow other pen people's opinions, other people's thoughts, other people's lives, other people's whatever, allowing it affecting you. Because that is them. They are entitled to their own self-limiting beliefs. And yes, they're entitled to voice their opinions, but do not let their opinions to control you. You've got a choice. You can have a choice to go, yeah, fine, but you've got a choice to go, yeah, that's your opinion, great, but I'm not gonna listen to that because I believe I can do this. And maybe it's time to go, you know what I can do? I'm going to stop listening to them. I'm going to dance and sing. Right, we've got Nuella here. Hello, Nuella. Yeah, tonight at eight o'clock, I'm going to go live again. I know, live twice in one day. Too much. Maybe I should do it five times because today's a five, five, five. Because I'm going to be doing a special live introducing you to Nuella. We're going to go live at eight o'clock. It's only about 15 minutes. It's not a very long live. Probably means it 20 minutes then. Um... Noella has just got this dancing and we will be I'll be introducing you properly to, to Noella at about eight o'clock tonight and she's going to come on she's going to explain what she does and amazing and then she's going to explain to you she's got this amazing dance workshop on Friday evening it's the first of three workshops she's hosting um yeah uh Nula. sorry Nula. you told me before Nula. So she's got this first of three workshops. Um, the first one's on Wednesday, on Friday. <clears throat> You'll find out all about it um, at eight o'clock tonight. So join me, uh, Nula, at eight o'clock tonight and you'll find all about her dance. And like I said, she dances. Oh, we're going to dance. We're going to dance. And it doesn't matter how you dance. You know, someone says, oh, you're no good at dancing. Uh, this is my own unique dance. It may not be ballet it may not be rock and roll it may not be the cha-cha-cha it may not be the salsa it may not be you know the snake dance it's my dance and it's unique to me and yes i can dance and just because you think what does she look like i don't give a damn about what you think about i'm gonna dance 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 for it dance dance, dance. And if I'm not on the beat, that doesn't matter because I'm dancing to my own beat, the beat of my own rhythm of my own body. And that is fine as well. I'm not going to let other people go, you can't dance. Uh, I can dance. I can move my body. Yeah, yeah, everyone's welcome to join. So, everyone can dance. And it doesn't matter, you know, oh, that's not ballet. Well, no, I'm not doing ballet. That's not tap. Well, I'm not doing tap. That's not rock and roll. No. I'm just moving my body to the rhythm of the universe. We're talked about music and it's a vibration. I'm moving my body to the vibration that I vibrate to in the universe. And just because my vibration is not the same as your vibration, I ain't got a problem. Now, what you need to do to that person is look inside you to ask yourself, why have you got the problem? What is it that me dancing like that is causing you a problem? Why? Because they can't, they, they're too tight up and far up their ass. They're so tense that they haven't got the freedom within to dance free. Okay, they need to set in rules. No, that's not the way you do the cha-cha-cha. Well, I'm not doing the cha-cha-cha. I'm doing the Julie Shan. Let's all do a Julie Shan. Who wants to rock and roll? Who wants to cha-cha-cha? Who wants to ballet? Who wants to do some modern? Who wants to... I don't know. But just dance to your own tune. And what you've got to do with these affirmations is rather than this person saying to me, you can't dance, you can't dance, you can't dance, you can't. And then I listen to that stupid voice. And then that voice goes over and over and it's affirming, you can't dance, Julie Sharp. You can't dance, Julie Sharp, because they've said it and I believe it. Bullshit to that. I can dance to my own rhythm. I can dance to my own rhythm and I'm free to rock and roll in my own special way. 
And that was an affirmation because the affirmation is a positive uplifting. So what are these stories that you've got in your head that other people have told you or you think? That's the worst one. I can't do this because they may think I look stupid. I can't go for this job because if I don't get that job, other people go, yeah, I told you, you're stupid, you can't. No, you didn't get that job at that other company because you were too good for them. Those people didn't give you the job because they couldn't see how amazing and they missed out from having you. But in fact, the universe is a no, you don't want to work for them because they're a crap company. I've got better plans for you. That's why you're not going to get this job interview. I'm going to give you a different job interview and you're going to work somewhere else. Yep. Get rid of what is those stories you're telling yourself? What limiting belief? And we've got to change that into a positive affirmation. A positive affirmation raises your vibration. And this is why it's such an important tool with the, it's a tool, it's a tool, remember? affirmations, meditations, working with your gods and goddesses, working with crystals, working with, they're all tools which help you to make things. And an affirmation is changing your mindset from a thing of I can't to I can. This is what the affirmation is. I can't to a can. I can imagine I've got this amazing car. And now I can imagine it. Now I can see I'm doing, I am worthy of this car. Now I'm going to do all the actions that I require to get my car. Because I'm worthy of having this amazing car. I'm worthy of having this amazing career. I'm worthy of having this amazing um, partner. I'm worthy of an abundance of money. I am worthy of having a healthy life so I can live my life to the fullest. I am worthy of it. And if you keep saying that, and I can do this, and if you think, oh, I can't do something, then go, right, rather than going, oh, I can't do such and such a thing, so I'm not going to go anywhere. Well, maybe learn how to do it. Oh, I can't set up my own business, because when you do business, you have to do marketing and you have to do your bookkeeping. And I haven't got those skills. Right, but you really want to run. Well, go and learn your bookkeeping skills. Go and learn how to do marketing. If that is the only skill, but it's really a smoke screen, it's because it's scared because you listen to other people go, you can't do this. I love that. Doing all actions required to have what we desire. Without an action, you cannot achieve. Yeah, I won the lottery. I'm going to win the lottery. I'm going to win the lottery. I'm going to win the lottery. You can write in your journal. I'm going to win the lottery. I'm winning the lottery. I'm winning the... Unless you physically go out and physically action the purchase of that lottery ticket, you ain't going to win the lottery. You can affirmation it until you're blue in the face. You can dream about what it'd be like to win that lottery. Oh my God, it'd be fantastic. And I can see those... 10 pound notes, 20 pound notes cascading around me. Oh my God, it's amazing. You could throw the money up in the air. I can see it. I can see the money. Yeah, it'd be great. Oh my God, imagine if I won all this money. I'm not setting a limit. I'm not setting a limit to a million pounds, two million pounds, 26 millions, three, 350 million. I'm not setting a limit. But I can imagine myself. And I've written about it. And I sit there and I meditate. And yeah, I can win. I've got this money. And I'm connecting with, with our Archangel um, uh, Ariel. I'm using Clarisage essential oil. I'm using Carnelian crystal. I'm sitting here. That you can do all that until you're blue in the face. But unless you physically action the purchase of that lottery ticket, it ain't gonna happen. And this is what's so important, you need to action. So like Noelle has got a, a, a workshop, and she's hosting it, but she wants people to join her on Friday. But without her doing the action of coming out, of joining me on a live today, I think you're doing another live somewhere else tomorrow, without her posting on Facebook, she wouldn't have anyone on it with her. Is she just gonna turn up on Friday and go, I've got this workshop, I'm the only person there. But she needs to action her advertising. She needs to do this and she needs to do boom and get it out there. And that's what we're doing. We're going to announce it at eight o'clock with the action. And so, like I said, the affirmation is actually actioning your mindset into positivity because you've got the action of a negative mindset. 
that it's stopping you from doing anything. Because, oh, you, I can't do this, I'm not worthy of it. So therefore you don't do it, so you're not achieving. But doing the action of changing the negative affirmation into a positive affirmation, so there's a change, a movement. There's your number five, the change. The actual, the action of changing from a negative to a positive. We're moving! Law of polarity. Oh, I love the law of polarity. So you've got that change. And so now you're changing the fix. So you're changing your whole demeanor from, I can't do this, right down here, down here in elephant manure. This is elephant manure. I'm rubbish. I'm crap. I'm not worthy of abundance of money. I'm not worthy of a lover. I'm not worthy of a brilliant job. I'm not worthy of whatever it is. All that, I ain't got any money. I've got a rubbish car. My phone is rubbish. You know, I'm overweight. I'm unfit. I'm... I'm lonely. I've got no partner. You okay? Elephant manure. Elephant manure. However, when you suddenly change, change to positive, I am worthy of an abundance of money. The change is, what, I've got no money. I've got no money. What can I do to bring in money? What can I do to get a lover? What can I do to get a job where I am worthy and get paid high? What can I do to make my health healthier? What can I do? And then when you suddenly change from to here, and what can I do? And then go, right, I can go and whatever it is you want to do. Right, you know, I want to get some money. Okay, what can I do to get some money? Get a side, get a side gig, you know, get a sideline, do a whatever it is. Go and earn some money. But then you go, yeah, and I'm worth because I'm worthy of an abundance of money. I'm worthy of living a life with rainbows and unicorns and fairy magic. I am worth more than elephant manure. I'm worth more than the bullshit that tell, people are telling me. Because that's their bit. And why do they tell it? Because they want to hold you down, control you, because it then makes them feel better. I am better than you. You know, I'm cleverer than you. Uh, no, quite clearly you're stupid. Why are they stupid? They're the stupid people because they are limiting themselves. They're the idiot. We're the brilliant ones because we've suddenly seen the light. And that's what's so marvellous about it. And they don't like our light. They don't like the self-confidence. They don't like our self-love. They don't like the unconditional love that I'm showing myself. They don't like watching us going, yeah, hi. And that is why when people start getting famous or people start doing well, other people slag them off. They'll find something to try and bring them down because it's jealousy, because they are in so much pain. I will show you a talk something and it's not that I want to be controversial. Let's talk about Philip Schofield for a minute, okay? Just very briefly, all right? Now, regardless of what's happened, he's left um, this morning, wherever it is this morning, okay? Now, love, love, love him or not, but what I've been looking at is all these other people around, like, especially like Eamon Holmes, who has been really spiteful about his comments about... Philip Schofield. Oh, you know, he didn't really quit. He was asked to go. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Now, Eamon Holmes was saying all this from a place of deep pain. Why is he saying this? Because it's same thing happened to him. So instead of going, you know, and I was doing this, I got rid of, and I was this, and he's pain. He's trying to make himself to look really good by saying these nasty, spiteful things about Philip Schofield. And this could be anyone else. Because Eamon Holmes is in so much pain because that happened to him. But in rather than going, oh, you know, Philip, you did really good. You know, I'm sorry you've done that. No. And he thought, you know what? I'm going to get on the panel and I'm going to slag Philip Schofield off because that will make me look better than him. Because, yeah. Do you see what I mean? What negativity. To me, it's Philip Schofield. You know who he is. You know, go, well, I'm really sorry. You know, you've gone through a bit of shite at the moment. You know, your brother's done this, and it's a, the, the effect of what your brother's done has affected you, and blah, blah, blah. And I fully get it. You know, you've had to come out, announce that you thought, you know, you're gay, and all this, that, and the other. Well, love him. Raise him up. Don't bring him down any further. Don't make him worse. And people who want to bring them down. Yeah, you know, you think you're all this good. Who do you think? 
that shows you're saying it from a place of pain. Sort out your own pain first before putting it on other people and holding them down because it's you're in pain, but you're now going to pick on someone. So these people get up there and they do. You see this? They raise people up in the things. Have you seen this new and up and coming film star? This up and coming film star is brilliant. This film star is this amazing. This pop group is really good. Have you listened to their music? They're really good. They're really fantastic. The pop group makes a number one top selling single. Yeah, they're really good. Okay, they bring out another song, top ten. And then people will start trying to bring them down. Oh, have you seen he's having an affair? Have you seen they're gay? Have you seen that they, with their money, that they've gotten the number one, they got, have you seen the house they've now bought? Have you seen the car they're now driving? Well, how he spends his money, because he made number one in the pop stars, etc. Why can't he spend his money on a car? Look, who does he think he is driving around in that car? That's from someone who's jealous. Because that person hasn't done it well in his own thing and hasn't got the money or thing yet. Why can't someone who's made the money, why aren't they allowed to spend their money how they wish? And if this person who's made the money chooses to buy a nice house, chooses to buy a nice car with their money, when you've decided to sit on your ass and go, I've got no money, and, he, and it's because you're jealous, because you're thinking, well, they've got the money and they're frittering it away. Why can't, and then the truth is, why can't? But if you got off your ass and decided that, yeah, he were, he's got number one, because this guy is talented, he's got music skills, he wouldn't have been in the band if they hadn't picked him if he was any good, his band wouldn't have got to number one and made all that sales and wouldn't have made the money. What about your own skills? If you harvest your own skills and then manifested some, and made the money, you too, with the money you've got, you could go and buy the car. You could go and buy the home. You could go, whatever it is, go on these fancy holidays. But it's your pain and your jealousy that you're bringing people down to your level. It's the thoughts. So rather than do this, raise people. And it's the affirmation, the positive affirmation you're saying to yourself will raise you up and you will lift other people up. Because the art is, as you're rising up, help people up as well and if someone falls lift them up show them compassion show them love that will raise them up and it raises you even higher hello uh we'll be doing some cards soon but this is what you've got to do but the positive affirmation is there is to change your mindset from all these false stories that people are telling you. These false stories that you then keep telling yourself over and over and over again. That's what an affirmation is. The affirmation I am affirming and you are listening and repeating these thoughts and these sayings, you're reaffirming. When someone says, oh, you're no good at this, you're going, oh, I'm no good at this. And then you start living that life as if you're no good because what they're telling you, you then think it must be the truth, which is not, it's bullshit. But then you believe it and then you believe it and I'm no good, I'm no good. And then you start living the life as if you're no good because of the foot. So stop listening to other people's affirmations and start creating your own and start saying to your own affirmation that I am worthy, I can do this, I can set up my own business, I can go and learn this new subject, or I can go and learn a new language, I can go and learn how to drive a car, I can dance how I want to, I can walk down the high street wearing whatever I want, etc, 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 and say the positive words, it will raise your vibration, you'll be tapping into the unconditional love of yourself. Now today is the 555 portal gateway, it's all about change, positive change. What's one thing can you do today that you can change? Like I said, people go, oh, you know, I've got to right, one thing that you can do. Right, don't eat chocolate for a week or whatever it is. Or when I go shopping, I will no longer buy chocolate. I'm just going to buy apples instead. If you give things a go, you may well surprise yourself of what you're capable. I know, because you're so in doubt. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. You go, well, have you actually tried it? Have you actually tried all these things? Have you actually, you know, and they go, no. And I go, well, until you tried it, how do you know you can't do it? You, like Colin says, you may surprise yourself. 
So why not change something? What is it that you would like to change? What is there? One thing. I've got my magic wand. I have my magic wand is over there. Anna, can you do me a favour? Get my magic wand. Sorry, this is my assistant. Okay, I've got my magic wand. Thank you, darling. She's doing dinner for us. Is there anybody here? I've got my magic wand. Name one thing in your life. I'm waving my magic wand now. What is one thing? I mean, it doesn't matter if you've got two, three, four, five, or six things. What things would you like to change in your life now? Oh, I'd like to have a better work-life um, ratio. Okay, write that down. I want a better work-life ratio. I want more money in my life. Well, what is the money in your life? Hi, Judy. Can I have a card? Yeah. What is it? Answer the questions first. And then I'll do the cards. What is that thing you want in your life? I want money. I want a house. I want a car. I want this phone. I want I want exotic holidays. I want uh, someone who loves me for who I am. I want, right, what is it that you want? Hi, Roy. Thank you for joining. Hi, Emma, everyone else. So what is that thing that you want? Now, it doesn't matter if you want one, two, three or four things. Put them down. Let me know. I'm waving my magic wand. And then tell me why you haven't got it and why is that one thing that you changed that you could bring that into your life, okay? So, I've got name money, right, magic wand. What thing can we change to bring in the money? I haven't got someone who loves me. Right, well, number one, you need to love yourself first. Well, maybe you're looking in the, for the wrong type of people. Let's change the way or places. I've got no, I haven't got a boyfriend. Well, actually, have you gone out to look for one? You yeah, know, I'd like to travel places. Right, well, have you looked to see where you would like to go, how much it is, and let's start saving for it. Oh, I've got no money for savings. Bullshit, I'll sort that out for you. Right, what is it? Come on. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. The magic wand is out. The magic wand is out. All right. So, if you don't share, you won't get a card. <laughs> no cards. No cards tonight if you don't share. Ah, oh, that's a threat okay so what is it that you want and what is the story that you are telling yourself that is stopping you from achieving that thing you want what is that story okay what is it let me know i'm going to do cards in a minute anyway um i am going to be stopping quite quickly because um oh i just suddenly realized my battery isn't on let me oh there we are let's go we don't want to go dead it happened once won't happen again so what is that one thing and thank you for sharing thank you i want to have more confidence right let's get a mentoring session oh my god that is a mentoring session i will get you confidence okay uh i'm not sure i change anything really i think I'll yeah you have because uh it could we beat our biggest rivals of the biz quiz on something that would be yes right mindset get the right mindset for that and uh yeah tell you what how to do the biggest rivals get the cleverest guy on that team and get them to join your team instead do a swap or go and join that team go can i come on your team and then you are on that team. i don't know no i know colin but you've done so much work you're there you are there mate you are there um what can you do um go and find what the quiz no that's cheating i was gonna go find beforehand the questions ah that's cheating um well let's put it up to the universe that you are the best team we are the best team on sunday don't go in with going oh well we're up against them or we've no chance in hell do you ever do that or do you go when you go into the like the question when you go into your quiz night do you go oh no there's no chance we're going to win is that what you say oh no we're that quiz team is there what is the thing you're saying when you go into that thing or are you going hey we've got just as much chance to win as they have we've got as just as much chance to win as they have you have but if you go in and go i'll beat our biggest rivals no they're your smallest right you see there's your mistake number one colin my smallest they're not your biggest rivals they're just a rival they're not your big because you're giving you're saying the word big i big up there you're just your competition we're just up against the competition that's all it is it's just a competition and we're all on par they're not the biggest you're all human beings you're all poo you all we you all breathe air you all bleed if you cut yourself okay 
You're all human beings. So let's put that down. So they're not your biggest rivals. I wonder who we are up against today. I wonder which teams. Oh, this is exciting. See, change the mindset, change the wording, and then see what happens on Sunday. Hey, right. Andrea, my beautiful Andrea. Um, confidence. Yes. Confidence. What is it that you want confidence for? We always approach with positive thoughts. We've done it once in about, yeah, you, if you've done it once, you can do it again. So you just say, we've beaten them. We have beaten them. So we've done it once. We can do it again. We have beaten them. So we can do it again. And tonight's night. Do you see what I mean? You're changing it. They're not your biggest rivals because you've beaten them. So they're going, hey, that team's our rival. And what they did that week when they lost nine months ago, they went, oh, my God, that's no good. What are we going to do? What are we going to pull up our socks and big, girl, big boy pants on? Not big girl. So they've gone, right, that's no good. We need to pull our socks up and put our big boy pants on. We're not going to let that happen again, are we? And that's what they're doing. And you've gone, oh, well, we did it once. But if you've done it once, you can do it again. And then you can do it again another week. But each competition is brand new. Because that was nine months ago. That was in the past, Colin. This Sunday is a brand new opportunity. Get your quiz books out, do some studying and see what happens. Okay. So then Andrea. Where is it that you want your confidence? What area of your life? What is it that if you had this confidence, what would you be doing? So if I said to you, right, Andrea, take a slow breath in. Oh, hang on. If you're driving operating machinery or cutting up fruit and veg with a sharp knife, don't do this. But Andrea, if you're able to take a slow breath in, hold and let go. And just think, if you had confidence, what would you be doing? What if you had this confidence in yourself? Because she said, if I have more confidence, confidence in what? We stand a good chance tonight. The three cups is an easier one. Yeah, you see, able to talk in public. Right. Well, number one, Andrea, you are talking in public. Right. You are talking in public right now, this very moment in time. Now, it may not be out loud. I am. But you have just shared in front of the public on my live your deepest lack of confidence. Now that took confidence to put that comment on there. And if you can do that, and you, yes, you might go always written. It's the written word. I'm speaking the word. doesn't matter how the word just comes out. Whether you think it, you speak it, you write it. You are talking in public right now putting the comments on here you're scared now you're not going to do any more no you are you got the confidence look you've got confidence because you actually just shared your deepest things so we can work on this having confidence to walk in, talk in public and what is it because you think oh if i just talk in public the the thing you're holding you back is oh what in case they think i don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking bullshit all the time Five nights a week, Monday to Friday, 52 weeks of the year, not quite. I talk complete bullshit. Oh, Julie, make it look so easy. Look back at my original lives. They were... No, they weren't. They just needed a lot of tweaking. All right. So, and it's like this, this talking public. And what is it you want to talk about? Well, when you go and talk to someone in public, you're not going to be talking about brain surgery because you're not a brain surgeon. No, unless you are, and that's what you want to talk about. You're going to be talking about something that you love. You're going to be talking about a subject that you are really passionate about. You are talking because you are the experts and people are coming to listen to you because they want to learn from you. Okay. And that's when you talk in public is that you know something that you want to share. The thing you know is something that you're really passionate about. The thing you so that is the advantage you've got the advantage as you get stand in front of public they are there to learn from you so there's nothing to be scared of because they are looking up at you you're looking down at them that's not in a horrible way but they're there listening to you all right you've got the advantage is that you know what you're talking about and they are there to listen to you because they want to hear what you've got to say. So this is the able to talk in public is, I can do it. 
and you talk in public all the time when you go shopping and you're at the cashier when you do your food talking in public is when she says this you go thank you have a nice day or when you're shopping and someone's trying to reach go can i reach that down and put it down there you're helping someone start practicing small and the more you do this little thing and stepping out and it's not the easiest thing a bit trust me because the first time you do it you're going to be shitting yourself but you can do it somewhere someone has told you or you've misinterpreted and you've told yourself i can't talk in public you're talking in public all the time when you're out with your family or relatives and you're walking around the street you're out in the public you're walking in the park with someone and you're talking to your family your nearest and dearest but you're talking to the you're outside and you talk and you don't know who's going to listen to you you're sitting in a bus or you're on a on a tra on a on an aeroplane you're on an aeroplane you're talking you've got someone either side of you front and back they can hear what you're saying you're talking in public think outside the box hello shaz I know I've got my magic wand I'm saying what is the one thing I'm gonna do some readings in a minute what is the one thing that you want to change what is the one thing and I've got my magic wand and I'm gonna do it I've magic wand Colin I'm magic wanding Andrea and if you want to go dive deeper on this and you want help maybe it's time to step out of your comfort zone and go you know what because not being able to talk in public and I'm not being horrible to Andrea but she's saying that it's stopping you from moving forward this lack of confidence is stopping you. Go and win. Have a great evening, Colin. It's stopping her from moving forward. Well, this thought. And the thing is, it's not the fear of talking in public that's stopping you back. It's like doing this talk in public will move you, propel you forward. And what it really is, it's scared. Because what happens if you do this talk in public and you become so good at it, someone will ask you to do another talk. And someone else would ask you to do another talk and then they'll ask you to do a book and then they'll ask you to go on speak on radio and then they're going to ask you but the thing is it's going to open up all these golden opportunities and you'll be stepping into this amazing life so this scared of talk is keeping you down in this box but you've got this amazing life but you are thinking to yourself i'm not worthy of this amazing life i'm not good enough to do that but that's just the ego and a smoke screen holding you back in here so it's not the confidence you know you think that's what it is what it is it's the fear of what may possibly happen that's holding you back what's the worst possible thing if you went and was asked to do a talk what's the worst possible thing well the worst possible thing is ooh. I might walk onto stage and fall flat on my face. We just get up and go, whoopsie daisy, at least I've done that. I won't do that again tonight. What's the worst possible thing? I can't remember what I'm going to write. Say, you've got it on a piece of paper. You go, excuse me, I've got some important posts to, to make, uh, points, so I don't want to, <coughs> you don't know what to say. Look, I know. Well, because you know you're going to be talking in public, I'm going to do a talk on the laws of the universe right i already know what my subject is i write some notes so i do know what i'm going to say it's like tonight this is the title of the thing i know what it is i'm talking about the title is activating the 555 gateway portal manifesting with affirmations and wisdom of the cards so i know exactly the topic i'm talking about you're not just i'm not just going to turn up and someone says can you make a speech and you go and then you're sitting there in front of men and you're going to talk about periods menstruating teenagers but they're all businessmen no they'll be inviting you to talk about a certain subject so you know they the unless the men want you to talk about that and they're there but they would tell you when you go and do these talks in public they're going to tell you what they want you to talk about or you tell people in a head it's like i'm doing this talk at eight o'clock tonight with nula so at eight o'clock we've got to talk with nula i'll be introducing her i'm going to be we're going to be talking about her dance skills and about her workshop on 
Friday. So I know what I'm doing. So that, when you go, so that's an excuse, you do know what you're doing. So this is where you get the confidence because I, I know what I'm going to talk about. I know the subject. My subject today is activating the 555 gateway portal. I'm talking about manifesting. Effect, and we're going to do the cards. Well, might do. I don't know. We've got time now. But so I got my title. So then I know. So I've talked about the 555 portal. I've talked about affirmations. And now we're going to do a couple of cards. Does that make sense to people? Right, make sure we share. Um, hang on, just two secs. So, the card I use from the deck, may or may not be doing card readings. You need to be over 18 to have a reading. If you're under 18, you need to parents or consent. A parent needs to be there. Not allowed to give legal, medical, financial advice. Not allowed to give pregnancy advice. It's for um, entertainment purposes only. If you use it for any other reason than entertainment, it's down to you, nothing down to me. Okay, the gateway of light activation. Recognise, look. The title today, I will have to watch replay. The title today is the Gateway Portal. The card deck is Gateway of Light because it's the 555 portal. Do you see how I'm doing this? This is giving me the confidence because I know what I'm talking about. All I've just said, five means change. I haven't gone into any other details of what the number five means. I've just picked up one thing, change. See, it can be done. So, because I could say to you, Shaz, should we go live tomorrow, um, 8 o'clock, and you're going, ooh, ooh, 8 o'clock, and we'll talk about what it's like to be a, ta a reader at a Mind, Body, Spirit show. So I can see about the portal, yeah. So we can, um, so I could say to Shaz, right, we're going to go live tomorrow, 8 o'clock tomorrow night, and we're going to talk about our experiences of what it's like to be um, card readers at Mind, Body, Spirit show. Shaz is probably going, what, what? Now, you know the subject because you have done readings at Mind, Body, Spirit show. So I would come on and go, I here's Shaz and I myself, Judy Sharn, have done it and I found this. And what do you think about, oh, and then you'll get going and you suddenly forget you're talking to a million people and off you go. And it's like that. So the Emerald Tablet activation, the Emerald Tablet is if you the full reading is on my youtube so i'm not going to go in for the full definition if you want the full um tra definition or translation of the of the card reading today check out julie shan 777 and it's about the emerald tablet activation on the emerald tablet uh, i think there's about 18 of them um hispanic um hispanic uh, tablets are from the second century or something they're really really old but one of the tablets it says as above and so below that is that famous saying, as above, so below. It appears on the Emerald Tablet. Check out YouTube, Julie Shan 777 Today's Submission. And it says, Cosmic Ordering, Divine Alchemy, Conscious Manifesting. Conscious Manifesting! We need to consciously manifest. The only way, and, and can't, when you manifest, what you say is you're going to create. So if you're constantly saying, I've got no money, guess what? You've got no money. So instead of saying, I've got to go, what can I do to bring in money? And then suddenly all these opportunities will come in and you'll suddenly be creating money. So it's like, I have an abundance of clients. I have an abundance of clients now. Not, oh my God, where am I going to get my clients? Oh, my clients can't afford it. No, my clients are all these amazing people who really want a reading. And that's why they contact me. And that's why they have readings because they want to make a change in their life because they're ready for a change. And they're ready to manifest and that's why they have a reading and this is the activating manifesting and that the same as the 555 but oh i couldn't find my cards they're still in the box so let us do some cards so as shaz is there so who wants a card i know colin's disappeared who wants a card shaz is here who wants a card we're going to do this very very quickly because like i said i'm going live at eight o'clock tonight with Nula um to talk about her amazing work dance workshop she's got um, this Saturday, which is on Zoom. So I am going to disappear quite quickly because I've got to eat my tea and get back for 8 o'clock. So, yeah. Um, so join me again at 8 o'clock. Andrew, could I? Yeah, I can. Yes, excellent. So we do Shaz, Jean Jeanette. Uh, hang on, Shaz, Jeanette and Andrea. So let's do this. So, um, and Emma. Okay. Um, and Emma, if you want to change, let me go. Right. So Chaz, Shaz, 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 Shaz. Crown, Chakra, Upgrade. Divine connection, holy experiences, miraculous energy. Right, your crown chakra. Oh, you can't see because of the light. Sorry. 
sorry about if I hold it down there okay so crown chakra upgrade divine connection holy experiences miraculous energy your crown is here it's your light energy connecting to the universe you've got your seven chakras your base your sacral your solar plexus your heart your throat your third eye your crown you're using your crown this is your third eye is your insight your third eye your insight looking internally but your crown is the chakra that you're connecting with your spirit guides divine connection this is talking about your connection with yourself your your own spirit with the spirit of the universe it's as holy experiences yeah maybe they're wanting you to connect with your you can't see this unfortunately it's the way i've got my light sorry um connecting with your spirit guide now i know this is depicting an angel <clears throat> but it's any spirit guides angels spirit animals gods goddesses ascended masters whatever it is so it's saying to connect so when you do your meditation connect with your spirit guides miraculous energy yes the miracle energy the energy of the universe you are worthy you are a miracle i saw three doves the other evening well that is a dove that is a dove three the father the, the father the son of the holy spirit the sun the earth and the moon the spirit guides mind body and spirit the number of three this is confirmation there you go the crown chakra so connect with the spirit did you work out check out the meaning of the doves yep we've just had one hour one minute and 11 seconds so connect with the energy of the dove peace joy when you're connected with your mind body and spirit you will at peace, joy and love with yourself. Divine connection, that's what that's about. So we had Jeanette, 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 Jeanette. It's only very quick because I'm going to go soon. My dinner's getting ready. So Jeanette, Jeanette, Jeanette. It's the soul star activation. Wow. This is connecting with your own soul. Look at that and look at that. Well, actually, um, when I first looked at that, I thought it looked like a pigeon. Interpret yourself. It's an eagle. Whatever. Okay soul star activation you're activating your soul Jeanette what is it that your soul wants what is it that you really want and that is to your highest benefit your soul not what the ego says not what the universe not what the community says because you're feeling uncomfortable inside when you're feeling uncomfortable and not sure it means you're not on the right path but when you're comfortable inside and you've got the confidence and you're connecting with your soul, what is it your soul really wants? Oh, I don't really want to be tied down with this mortgage around my neck. I want to go travelling. Well, do it. Because that is the freedom that your soul is yearning for. Fulfilling soul contracts. Remembering who you are. Jeanette, you've been sucked into this full story that the media is telling you. You're welcome. Oh, I love that. So what is the full story? Remembering who you are. Jeanette, you're lost. You're not who you are. We wear this hat. I'm the mother. I'm the grandmother. I'm the teacher. I'm the nurse. I'm the secretary at work. I'm the, my, I'm the sister. I'm the aunt. I'm the thing. But where is Jeanette? You need to remember who you are. What when you were younger? What used to bring you joy? And why aren't you doing it anymore? I used to love dancing. Well, go back and dance. Oh, I used to play the piano go and play the piano again reconnect what wakes your heart because you're connecting with your heart again Jeanette you're connecting with the soul and if you don't know where you're going or what you want to do or how to do it book a reading today let's do a pathfinder this is definitely telling you a pathfinder it will help you the pathfinder reading will help you reconnect with your soul your real truth and then we will show you how you can achieve your real truth and be your true authentic self and set your soul free connect to your soul then we've got uh who else have we got uh uh emma emma and then roy so we've got emma 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 when are we going to do because you said to me the other day oh we want to connect i need to talk we haven't done that yet emma let's arrange that time let's chat let's chat let's book a pathfinder for you so if that makes sense jeanette let's set your soul free let's get that pathfinder reading set let's point do that so i'm going to do emma and then i'll do roy we'll do emma and then roy um jeanette if that makes sense let me know so we'll do emma 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 
Emma. These are only quick guidance. When you have a reading, a full reading with me, we really dive deep and you get real clarity. Just a quick one minute card ain't going to work unless you're ready to change on the information I'm giving you tonight. Do it. Andrea can have it. Okay. So do Emma, Roy and then Andrea. Yeah. So anyone who's really struggling, like Andrea, let's sort out this confidence. Emma, 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 Emma. Emma has, oh, stellar gateway activation. Now your stellar gateway is even up here. I talked earlier about your crown, your and there's the soul, and then the stellar is up here. The stellar gateway is even higher. Infinite potential, manifestation vortex. You have the infinite potential to get whatever you want to manifest. The stellar gateway is allowing you and allowing you to connect with your true potential of what you really can do. We want you to step into your truth, into you, not the you that you the ego has created, not the you that people want you to be. We all act in a way to fit in with other people even though trying to fit in with what society says feels so out of alignment when you're connecting with the seller gateway and activating it you become this manifesting vortex this is what i am i've gone through the stellar gateway i'm the manifesting mental queen i can do all this etc because i'm connecting with my true path and everything i do is in alignment with my truth the stellar so I've gone from my third eye to my crown to my soul to my stellar pathway and this is what they're wanting you to do is to move from here to here are you ready to do that change are you ready to embrace the from the elephant manure to the rainbows and unicorns are you because this is what this is saying is they know you're ready they know you're ready and they want you to take action. Are you ready? What's holding you back? So then we've got Roy. We've got Roy and then we've got Andrea. Hello, Vicky. Hello, Vicky's my nail technician. I've been picking my nails today because I've been stressing myself out because I'm going from here to here and it's scary moving and doing things like that. So, so we've got, uh, that's amazing. Can we connect Friday? Yes, we can. We can most definitely connect on Friday. It was, uh, I've got a client booked in at eight, but yes, we can absolutely, I know, I yeah, that finger and that, the right finger. I'm releasing, but I'm releasing, yeah, I was, yeah. but I've, I've studied why, I know. I've still got it, I've still got it. I think the problem is it's getting long again. My nails grow very long. Since we're doing this treatment, Vicky's been really amazing with working after my nails. And my nails are growing so quickly with the daily massage and all the things like that. And I can't cope with the long nails. So I'm catching them and picking at them. So Roy, 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 Roy. And then I'll do Andrea, then I'll do Vicky. So we're Roy, 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 Roy. So Roy, yeah, I do guy readings because I know Colin's gone now, but I do have a few gentlemen. Uh, clients as well so if you want a full reading Roy let me know so let me do Roy 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 and then I'll do our beautiful Andrea and let's connect yeah we can message on messenger for a time I am free from 3 p.m onwards okay I will get that confirmed we'll put that on and we will chat some things tunnel your inner picking into something else I'll pick my nose instead <laughs> okay so uh, who am I doing Emma, I'm doing Emma, 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 Emma. Okay, I'll pop that in my diary, Emma. Uh, let me know, um, are you looking for, Emma, we'll, we'll talk about it. Are you looking for a full reading, the Pathfinder, or a mentoring session? The full reading uh, is 50, the mentoring is 100, or a Pathfinder is 75. Let me know. Um, or if you just want a half hour session, it's 30. Let me know. Okay, uh, Emma, Chamber of the, ooh! God, it's been a while since I've worked with the Violet Flame. Karmic release, radical transformation. The purple, the Violet Flame. Oh my gosh, if you get the chance to work the Violet Flame, let's work, oh my gosh, I love working with the Violet Flame. How long have I got, Anna? Um, 15 minutes. All right, 15 minutes. I've got 15 minutes, okay. Um, Chamber of the Violet Flame. Karmic release. Emma, you need to release all those negative past 
all the negative past things that have happened which you perceive as negative in your life it's time to transfer them into wow into lessons that you can learn to not repeat again so this is the tra radical transformation they want you to go from here to here half hour excellent i'll do that okay i'll get that sorted for you 30 minutes yeah three o'clock we'll set that sorted karmic release radical transformation this is the transformation you're going through at the moment and because you suddenly had this light moment light bulb moment it's like oh my gosh your transformation is going to happen like that it's going to be absolutely amazing um and god it's been a while since i've done the violet flame might need to redo a meditation with it but yes the violet flame connecting with that it is a radical radical transformation and maybe this is what you're doing because you're having a light bulb moment and light being the light bulb moment is on friday and it's like bush I suddenly realize the self-limiting stories that you're telling yourself it's like they've been lies you suddenly realize the stories that people have been telling you the government your teachers at school your neighborhood your community it's a load of lies and then you suddenly go wow and that's what the violet flame is doing for you so then we've got vicky 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 uh is it vicky who else have i not done um vicky i do vicky is there anybody else apart from vicky who hasn't had a card apart from vicky is there anybody else who hasn't had a card and would like a card so apart from vicky don't boil the kettle just yet though no 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 right vicky is a uh, roy yes i did do you did i do you oh no roy i uh oh maybe not did I not do? No, I, uh, right, I'll do, uh, Vicky and then Roy. Uh, I thought I just did Roy. Oh, hang on. <sighs> Got confused now. Right, this is Vicky's, I'll do Vicky, Roy, Andrea. Vicky, Roy, Andrea. I thought I just did, oh, my mind is going, because I'm, I'm aware of my time. Vicky, Roy, Andrea. Vicky, Roy, Andrea. Vicky, Roy, Andrea. Vicky, Vicky, Vicky. Oh, I've done him. Ah! Oh! Maybe the second card I did you was Roy. But hey, you've done two. Right, okay, maybe that's okay. You did Emma twice. You know what that probably was. Okay, I did Emma twice. Sorry, Emma. It's probably I was busy doing that. Okay, probably it's right. A uh, Vicky Roy. I'm glad you lots are paying attention. Vicky Roy Andrea. Vicky, 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 Vicky. Sorry about that. Vicky. Vicky has Actorian light codes. Vicky has Actorian light codes. Even though evolutionary downloads recalling power future thinking now vicky without giving too much away here recalling power you're recalling your power of how you can help people who are going through grief this is where it is your future thinking how can i help people now and in the future with my skills of helping them through the grief this is the actorian level this is what this card is for Vicky. Evolutionary downloads. You are getting messages to say this is where your life path is. Helping people with the grief. So this is what it is. I think maybe what I must have done is that. that so sorry about that. Emma, you got two cards. Okay. So, Actorian light codes. You are receiving the, the, the downloads and you've suddenly had this light bulb moment, Vicky, that, hey, this is where my skill is. I seem to be surrounded by people who need the help, those who are going through grief. And this is the Actorian, which is up here going, we know your path because you've had all this grief in the past with this present life and your past past life. OK, so your past life things have gone, put you through here and your Actorian. Ah, oh, <coughs> you've got a spirit guide. You know, when we go, oh, we've got a dove, you've got an eagle, you've got a god or a goddess. You're, I think you're Actorian. You've got a spirit guide who is Actorian. So if you do a little bit of research and connect with your guides, the Actorian guides, I think there's one, well, I know, there's one stepping forward who wants to work with you. I think we're introducing you to a brand new guide who's an Actorian, but they're going to help you with that message. So that's you. Then we're going to do Roy's proper one. I'll do Roy. So that's the message to you. I think you've got an Actorian. Well, not I think, I know. Uh, you've got spirit guidance. Just step forward. Who wants to work with you, Actorian? Have I got? No, I've got the play. It's my book. I've got it on the Palladiums. Right. Let's do Roy. 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 Um, and then I've got one more after Roy, and then I've got to go because 
dinner's almost ready. So Roy, 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 Roy has crystal skull wisdom. Oh my God, I love my crystals, my crystal skulls. Oh my God, crystal skull. Clarity, divine healing, high vibrational energy. Right, your skull. The crystal skulls vibrate at a certain level, at a vibration. Okay, the crystal is the quartz crystal is the master crystal. It's giving you clarity. They're wanting to work with the divine healer. The quartz crystal is the divine healer. The skull is our head, but it's like being the divine person. Yeah, I'll do you last, Andrea. So this is what your message is. The clarity. We want you to divine and find clarity of what you really want, Roy. Where is it you want to be? What is it that you truly want to do? Go within your third eye and your crown chakra. Divine healing. You've got some healing to do. Re the healing is release. Like, you know, oh yeah, I was divorced. But if you're still going, oh, this my, my, my partner did this and bitch, 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 bitch. What you now do is go, yep, I was divorced. I've got my decree absolute. This has happened. And then you just say, it's like, oh, I had chocolate cake last week. Oh, I was divorced. Oh, I went on holiday to Lanzarote at Christmas. It's an event that happens, you acknowledge it, but it no longer has a control. And this is how you do your divine healing. When you acknowledge things happened, but it's no longer controlling you, you are in control. This is when you're becoming the divine. And then you get clarity of where you're going forward. Yes, the lesson I learned from that person who did this in my previous marriage Right, make sure I never come across someone with those characteristics. It also means that that person wasn't very caring, but I want my next partner to be caring. Divine healing, because you're working with the divine. And this is a clarity. The clear crystal quartz are the master healers. And you're getting clarity. What is it that you really want from life, Roy? What are you doing, Roy, that is not in alignment? Maybe it's time to reassess your life and get into alignment and go, you know what? This is what I want, because I can see clearly what I want. And Andrea is the very last one, because, like I said, my daughter said dinner's virtually ready, because I've got to eat my dinner before I get back at 8 o'clock live tonight. Come and join us all at 8 o'clock tonight when I'm working with Nula. Um, we're only going to be live for about 15 minutes, so come back at 8 and join us at 8 o'clock. It's going to be really good fun, but it's only going to be about 15, 20 minutes. So Andrea, 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 and then let's connect. So Andrea, Andrea, Andrea. Andrea, Andrea, and Emma, if you're still on, um, I will message you with the confirmation for three o'clock on Friday. Thank you. And Roy, if you want to take that message deeper, I feel maybe the pathway reading would be best for you. If so, if you did want a reading and want to book it in, um, let's get that pathway reading, which is the reading, the mentor, the guidance and the mentoring and working out the path of where you want to go. So that would suit you. Right. Andrea, 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 Andrea. My daughter's making signs. I need to finish. So Andrea has, oh, Andrea actually has our card for the day. The Emerald Tablet Activation, Cosmic Ordering, Divine Alchemy, Conscious Manifesting. Now, I did speak about this about 20 minutes ago. And if you want the full in-depth reading, check out my YouTube channel, Judy Shan 777 That's Judy Shan 777 The card for the day, I've got the full reading on that one. But this is for Andrea. Cosmic ordering. We are all in an order. Our life is in order, even though we sometimes wonder what happens. But this happened. And if this event happened, this has happened, and this is why we're here. If that event didn't happen, like I often say, my first fiance, no, my second fiance, if I hadn't married, if I'd married Stig, I wouldn't have got Henry and Anna because I then married someone else. And because I married someone else, I then went and had Henry and Anna, and now I've got my grandchildren. But if I'd married this other person, I may have had children, but I would not have had Henry and Anna, and then I wouldn't have had uh, my grandchildren, because if Henry hadn't been around, then he wouldn't have his two his grand his children so there's a cosmic ordering there was a reason why i didn't go with this person i went with him instead and went going with him he had henry and, I, and i lost my first baby i lost my first baby but if i hadn't lost my first baby henry wouldn't have been here because <laughs> when my first baby was due that's when i fell pregnant again with henry so if I hadn't lost my first baby, Henry wouldn't be here. 
so I lost my phone. So it's like, you know, cosmic ordering. These things happen. And when you look at it, it's like that. It's not that I don't miss my first baby. Devastated. However, cosmic order. There's a divine alchemy. Andrea, you can. Alchemy is changing lead into gold. You can change your dreams into reality. The impossible into... How can you change lead into gold? It's action. They actually action. The lead has to action itself into gold. You can action yourself, Andrea, into whatever you want. The alchemy. Alchemy is creating something. Conscious manifesting. What you are saying you're creating. Andrea, if you're saying you're not able to do this, not worthy of this, I haven't got the confidence, then you're not going to have the confidence. But if you say, I have got the confidence, you will feel it, believe it, then you are become the confident person. What you are putting out, you're saying conscious. So be aware, be conscious of what you're saying. Be conscious of your acting. Be conscious of the way you're standing, sitting. Be conscious. Because be aware when you're conscious of where what you're saying. Because I am... I, I correct myself quite often these days because I'm now becoming conscious of what I'm saying and this is what they're saying be aware of what you're saying if you're constantly saying I've got no money I've got no money but you actually have got 10 pence in your bank account you're ditching it and you're talking a false you're telling yourself a false line and then you're living a false lie be conscious of what you're saying because what you say you will manifest and that's the messages I hope everyone's enjoyed it yeah Roy should we um, be, should I be bold and send you a direct message, Roy? Let me be bold. Thank you, everyone, for joining me tonight. It's been absolutely amazing. It's one minute, 21 seconds and 12. So it's one, two, one, one, two, uh, two, one. So, yeah, I love that. One, two, one, two, one. Yeah, one hour, 21 minutes, 21 seconds. You're welcome, Andrea. So if anyone would like any clarity on the cards I pulled today, please message me. If you want some understanding, if you want to go deeper, just give me a quick message and we can have a look at it. If you do want to be like um, Emma, we're going to connect on Friday. So if there's anyone else who would like to connect and have a reading, you know where I am. Tomorrow is Wednesday, Fairy Wednesday. Yeah, my magic wand, which I've put down somewhere, will be back out again for Fairy Wednesday tomorrow. So thank you for joining me tonight. I will be seeing Victoria live next Thursday, having my nails done. Hopefully they won't be... There will be nails. Ha! Okay, have a great evening, whatever you're doing. But join me at 8 o'clock tonight. Join me at 8 o'clock tonight where I'll be talking to and interviewing Nula. Have a great evening, whatever you're doing. Hopefully you can join me at 8 uh, tonight. Otherwise, 6 o'clock tomorrow night for Fairy Wednesday. If you want full in-depth readings, message me. Have a great evening. Take care. Namaste.